Hey guys, JNM here with a beginner tutorial for FreeCAD. What is it? Well, it's a totally free parametric 3D modeling tool that you can get from this page for Windows, Linux or Mac. After starting it, I create a new project, but before I select the workbench. This determines the way that I want to use to create my model. And I show you the part design workbench in that you create a 2D sketch first and then use for instance the pad tool to extrude your model. In this video I want to point out the different paradigm of CAD software compared to applications like Blender or 3ds Max. So I press new to create a new project, then start creating the part by adding a body and for this we need a 2D sketch. The sketch is painted onto a plane, there are three planes that we can choose from and the most common plane is the X, Y plane and from this perspective you're looking from the top onto your sketch. So select this and press OK. Now we can zoom the view with the mouse wheel or pen the view by pressing the middle mouse button and the shift key and then move the mouse and with the middle mouse button pressed you rotate it but you can always come back to the top view or to any other view by using these buttons or this gizmo. In the toolbar you can see we have a lot of icons, the tools for drawing, line, rectangle or circle and here on this side we have constraints. I won't go into detail for all these tools, I want to provide a simple example so that you can see how to use the application. So let's draw a rectangle and see what we get. So we have here this rectangle that consists of lines, of course. And then we have constraints, for example the points that are connecting the lines. And then we have these horizontal or vertical constraints that define that a line has to be horizontal always or vertical. These constraints define the degrees of freedom for the sketch and the goal is to have it fully constrained so that we can't modify it anymore, it is fully defined. Ok, let me add one more feature here to the sketch. This is a fillet, which is like a bevel. And the constraint for this could be the radius. To add the constraint, select the fillet. And then use this icon to constrain an arc or a circle. And I set the radius then to 5. 5 mm, you see you can work here with precise values. To modify it again, you can double click the constraint. Ok, I can still move, for instance, this point around. So to fully constrain it, we have to add more constraints. For example, we can set the length of the lines. So use first this horizontal constraint and set it for this line to 40 mm. Ok, but we need another one, this time for the vertical direction. And this I set to 30 mm for this line on the right. You can also move these constraints. Now the shape is fixed, but we can still move it around. So we have to define the position in relation to the center. We still have two degrees of freedom. So what we can do is to select these two points, then the y-axis and add a symmetry constraint. Alright, and now we can only move it up and downwards, so we add the same constraint for the x-axis. Select the points, then the x-axis and add the symmetry constraint. Ok, and then the sketch turns to green, this means it is fully constrained. You can also say it is solved. Ok, so what we can do now is we can close the sketch, then we can create a so-called pad, which is the extruded version of the sketch and for this you can define then the length of the extrusion. You can adjust it here in this text field and see the changes in the view. And the cool thing is you can always go back to the sketch and change it. For instance this length or distance constraint. 
I set it to 20 mm and when I close this now, you see the changes, also for the pad. What you can do as well is to select a face and then for example apply a fillet, this kind of bevel, for which you can also set the radius. Another feature similar to the fillet is a chamfer, which is basically a bevel with one segment. Ok, and I think that's enough for an introduction to FreeCAD. If you want me to create more tutorials for this tool, let me know, or perhaps you're interested in other CAD applications. If you like my channel, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, and if you have any questions, then add these to the comments below. See you soon on JNM.